Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 22 video where today I'm going to be sharing with you what I think are the top five goalkeepers in FIFA 22. Now, obviously, goalkeepers are a bit of a contextual subject. Obviously, some people, uh, you know, will use a goalkeeper and think they're brilliant. And other people will use that same goalkeeper and their experiences with it will be very, very different. So this is just my personal top five. You might not agree. You might have used some of these keepers and they might not have been good for you. But these are what I personally think are the best five that I've used. And also, more importantly, the five that I think have been the most difficult to play against, where I've played against, had lots of shots and they just seem to save everything. These are, from, for example, my top five. So these aren't in any particular order, but first up we've got Edouard Mendy. Now Mendy is going to have a new moments card. I believe it's 89 rated, I think. So M Mendy's going to have a new moments card. So I would go for that one ahead of this one. But Mendy in general is one of the most difficult goalkeepers I found this year to play against. Uh, early on, playing against his 83 was tough. And I think goalkeepers in general, I find the ones that are best are the ones that are tall. Now obviously Mendy's six foot six. He's he's a giant in goal, but he just seems to save everything. It also, in terms of the stats, the only stat that really matters, you can't actually see it on this page. You have to go on someone like Footbin. But it's the reaction stat is what's really, really important for goalkeepers. But Mendy, just in-game, just feels very, very good. He looks really, really big. And he just seems to save everything. You know, he seems to be that keeper that just whenever, he, you know, you know when you sometimes take those shots and you go, oh, that'd be a goal. And with most keepers, it is. But with someone like a Mendy or some of the other people we've got on this list, they just seem to always be able to get there. So Mendy's one of those goalkeepers uh, the fact that he wasn't team of the year was maybe a little bit harsh. He's definitely potentially had a good shout for being team of the year, but he's going to get a moments card, and I'd recommend going for that one ahead of this one. But Mendy in general as a goalkeeper is very, very good. Next up, we've got Mike Mignon. Now, this guy is another one like Mendy, who at the start of the year, you know, played against his 84-rated card a lot, and I wasn't kind of like... I saw him in a lot of people's teams and wasn't really convinced. Uh, tried him out myself, and he just seemed to save so many shots where... I can't remember who the goalie I had at the start of the year was, but I think a lot of people obviously went back to using like the Nick Popes because he was OP last year. But this year I saw a lot of people going with Maignan early on and he was very, very good. You know, Maignan was very overpowered, especially in, in sort of close shots, you know, shots inside the box. It just seems to left or right, you, you feel like you've picked the corner and he's one of those keepers again, like Mendy, like some of the other ones we've got on this list, that when you take those shots into the corners, he just somehow seems to get across, whether it's a finesse shot, whether it's a low driven, you go far shot, near post, whatever it may be. He just seems to always get there. So again, Mignon obviously being 6'3", pretty tall for a goalkeeper. Not as tall as some goalkeepers maybe in the game, maybe like a Donnarumma or something. He's obviously very, very big, but 6'3", is still big for a goalie. Uh, obviously, he's got very, very good stats, this winter wildcard card. So it obviously is a very good card. French linked to a lot of players, but in-game just feels extremely good. Next up, we have got Thibaut Courtois. Now, he has only got an inform at the moment, but I haven't played against this card maybe as much as some of the other ones. But from the times when I have played this guy, for example, in draft or in some rivals games, again, he's very, very good. And I think, again, it comes down to obviously his height being six foot six. He just fills up so much of the goal. When a goalie fills up, obviously, more of the goal, they've got a better chance of getting to the corners. And that that all depends on what their reactions are. The reactions of a goalkeeper are very, very important because then it's how quickly they get across and react. But again, Courtois has got a very, very good card. You know, with a basic, with a glove, he's going to have, obviously, monster stats. But this Courtois, obviously, again, links to a lot of really, really good players. So he's not difficult to link into a team. But he's another one of those keepers where whenever you come up against him, he just seems to make some saves and that's the thing you can't really put your finger on with goalkeepers as i said some people have different experiences somebody else might have used this courtois might think he's rubbish other people have probably used him and think he's great and that's the thing with goalkeepers they just seem to be uh they seem to give people mixed experiences but from my experience when i've played against courtois he's always been a really difficult goalkeeper to beat always had to take you know three four five really good shots from good positions before one's gone in so that's i think a sign in my opinion of a good goalkeeper then next up, we've got someone who maybe bucks the trend a little bit, and it is Ika Casillas. Now, Casillas being only six foot one doesn't really fit the profile of some of the other goalkeepers that have been on the list. You know, we've had obviously Mendy and uh, Courtois, who are obviously very, very tall, obviously like six foot six, six foot seven, so very, very tall goalkeepers. But Casillas is only six one, so not a, a super tall goalkeeper. But with Casillas. He just seems in game like he's he's just faster, and that's that's the only way I can describe it. Like with some goalkeepers, you know, like Courtois, they're very very oh, tall, so they can get to the corners. With Casillas, he just seems to react 
really fast. And again, that reaction to that is really, really important. But he just seems in game very quick. Like he just seems to be able to get across very, very quickly. So if you, for example, line up a finesse shot and it's good, he just seems to boom, just be able to get across really, really fast. And that's what I find quite difficult of course, uh, with, with Casillas. And that's kind of what makes up for his maybe 6-1 as a goalkeeper's lack of height is the fact that he has got that lightning speed to be able to get across. Obviously, his card is ridiculous. Now, in terms of when I've played this guy, generally it has only been in draft. But in it, regardless of that, he has still been a very, very difficult goalkeeper to beat. And definitely one, if you've got this guy, you might know how good he is. Um, but from my experience, he was one of if not probably the most difficult goalkeeper on this list from sort of inside the box, maybe just because of how quick he was able to move. But uh, Casillas was absolutely brilliant and definitely a goalkeeper I would recommend. And then the next goalkeeper we have got is Lev Yashin. Now, I know we said that this wasn't in order, but for me personally, if you wanted my opinion of who I think the best goalkeeper is, I think it is this Lev Yashin. I use this guy a lot in draft, obviously when icons were popping a lot in draft. Obviously, he's got the hat as well, which is really, really cool in game. But Yashin, for me, just made more saves than the other keepers. You know, I remember when I was playing in draft with Yashin, I played against a guy who was, you know, a decent player and was having a good amount of chances against me. And he was taking some very good shots where normally you'd think, oh, this is a goal. And boom, he would save it. And then, you know, the next one would come and be like, okay, he'll definitely score this one. And boom, Yashin saved it again. Now, obviously, there's going to be some games that you have with a goalkeeper that are going to be poor and they, they seem really bad. But Yashin, for me personally, was so good. Nine games out of ten, he was very, very good. And obviously, he's got an incredible card. His diving is very, very high. His goalkeeper reflexes are very, very high, which I think is probably, in my opinion, the most important stat, from my, in my opinion, for goalkeepers. Obviously, his kicking is low, which doesn't really matter because a goalkeeper doesn't need to kick. But in-game, he just feels very, very good. Obviously, he was, uh, he was a brilliant goalkeeper back in the day, but... You know, Yashin, for me personally, is the best goalkeeper in the game and the one that I would recommend the most. But all five of these goalkeepers are very, very good. And like I said at the start of the video, I'm sure other people will have uh, differing opinions on this bunch and some other players that are maybe not on this list. I know players like Ariola are really good goalkeepers. And obviously, people are going to be thinking, why is Donnarumma not on that list? For me, I haven't used, obviously, the Team of the Year Donnarumma, so I don't know. But I use the gold Donnarumma a lot. I, had, I played about 260 games with him. And I wasn't a huge fan. Um, I found that he was one that just, for me personally, didn't seem very good. But he was a goalkeeper that when I came up against him, he was tough to beat. But when I was ranking him against these five goalkeepers that I've come up against, I thought these five were more difficult to play against than uh, than that Donnarumma. But I haven't played the Team of the Year Donnarumma. So if you have played Team of the Year Donnarumma, let me know down in the comment section how that, that Donnarumma plays. If he's very good, if he deserves to be on this list instead of anyone... But for me personally, these are the best five goalkeepers in the game. So let me know in the comment section if you disagree, if you have any other ideas for players that you think should be on this list. Do drop a thumbs up if you did enjoy the content and subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But that is all for today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.